Hello mates and lasses, 155 millimeter of bringing you another video. And today guys, I'm going to address this video to Mr. Alex Jones. Uh, it's a little video I got I have here that I got a couple questions for him. He may see this video, he may respond, then again, uh, he may not even see this video or he may feel he doesn't have a need to respond to me. But, you know, it's just a real quick question to him. I'm trying to figure out, you know, where he's coming from, uh, what his mindset is with uh, some videos that he made. Uh, I noticed in one of his videos that he was saying something about Al Gore when Al Gore was saying back in the mid 90s, talking about Saddam, chemical weapons Saddam had, okay, back in the 90s. And Alex Jones had said something about, well, I don't, that's, that's all, that's all bogus. I don't, I don't believe any of that. So correct me if I'm wrong, Alex Jones, but you're saying, yeah, again, like I said, I, want to put, I don't want to put words in your mouth. Correct me if you're wrong. You're saying that Saddam Hussein didn't have these chemical weapons? Because if you're saying that Saddam Hussein didn't have these chemical and biological weapons, then I also take it that you're saying that he never used these biological and chemical weapons on the Persian Gulf War veterans who served there from 90 all the way to 2003 invasion. <clears throat> and again, I'm not trying to put words in your, in your mouth. Correct me if I'm wrong. But then I click over and I see the next video and I see you talking about chemtrails here in, here in the United States of America. That the U.S. government is spraying chemtrails on the, on the U.S. citizens here in America. Now, my question for you, Alex Jones, is why do you believe this way? Why, why, why do you believe that the U.S. government is spraying chemtrails on the U.S. citizens? Which is, you know, it's okay. I mean, I'm not knocking anybody who believes this, okay? If you guys believe, you guys believe that, I mean, hey, you know, that's your beliefs, okay? It's freedom of speech. It's America. You can say whatever you want. Okay, I'm not knocking you because you believe that. But my question is, why Why would you believe that and then believe for one minute that a war criminal in a different country who we're, who we're in a, a time of war against wouldn't use chemical and biological weapons against a foreign enemy? That's my question. Okay. I like to know why you believe that the U.S. government would use chemicals or biologicals on its own citizens, yet a war criminal who several times has been it has been documented that he used biological and chemical weapons on his own people and as well as the Iranians. And several times in the future that I'm going to I'm going to come in the future and I'm going to bring up other instances of where it was witnessed that Saddam Hussein used chemical weapons again. Okay? I haven't put those out here yet. But that's my question. I, I, I don't get it. I don't I, I don't get it. I, I don't get how and don't get me wrong. I under, I understand if people believe that the US government is using chemicals on the citizens. And that's cool. You can believe that. I'm not knocking you. Okay, but what 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 I'm uh, now now do I believe that way? No, I don't. I don't believe that the U.S. government is spraying down chemicals on the citizens. But again, you y'all can believe that if you wish to believe that. But my question is, you believe that? Yes. Yet, yet you refuse to believe this, that that a war criminal who we are at war with who is known to have chemical weapons and biological weapons, who is known to use them, wouldn't use them on Persian Gulf War veterans who served there from 1990 all the way to 2003 invasion. I, that's my question for Alex Jones. I, I, I want to know why you think, I, I want to know why you think this way. Okay? Uh, <clears throat> you know, that's... I mean, it's just simple as that. I, I don't know what else to say. But, you know, here. 
All right, guys, that's the end of the video. I uh, just wanted to put that out there to Mr. Alex Jones because I really don't know where he's coming from with uh, with this, but uh, it would make more sense to me that someone that someone who who believes American citizens, U.S. citizens, are in danger from chemicals by their own government. It would make more sense to me that that individual would know for a fact that a war criminal dictator who's known to have biological and chemical warfare agents and who was engineered and had some of the top scientists in the world working for it, working and engineering his agents, okay, who's been known and documented a war criminal who's killed hundreds of thousands of people, who's used these chemical weapons uh, to annihilate villages, okay, killed over 5,000 Kurdish people in his own country, uh, and sickened over 10,000 Kurdish people who, have, who now have Gulf War illness. The same thing that the Persian Gulf War veterans have. Uh, also, sickened Iranian veterans, okay, used the you and during the Iran Iraq War from 1983 to 1988, used chemical mustard on Iranian veterans who now have Gulf War illness. The same thing that is found in the Persian Gulf veterans who served over there from 1990 all the way to the 2003 invasion. A guy who's a, a war criminal who's known to use these chemical agents and known to have them. <clears throat> Yet, I saw a video where Alex Jones was saying, "Well, ah, oh, chemical weapons, Saddam had those That's bull. Yeah, that's, that's all bull." I, I don't, I don't get it, man. I, I just don't get it. I'm gonna be honest with you. So I just, I had to put this video out just to, just to see how, just to see how you're firing. I mean, that's that's you know, because it's common sense to me. You know what I mean? <clears throat> it's common sense to me. And I'm going to put some links down in the bottom of this video uh, for you guys to check out as well. Yeah, Mr. Alex Jones, you can check him out as well. On how many milligrams of sulfur mustard that a human body has to consume via vapors before it, come, before it becomes lethal. And then, <clears throat> excuse me. And then, below that, I'm going to put out a uh, Another link down there below that that's going to show you the facts of the relationship, the illness, the sickness and the illness relationship of oxidative stress found in both Persian Gulf War of One veterans with the multitude of chronic sign symptoms and diagnosed and undiagnosed illnesses found in those Persian Gulf One veterans. Presumed, presumptive illnesses presumed to these Persian Gulf veterans. Who served from 1990 all the way to the 2003 invasion? Okay, don't listen to CNN. And I'm going to show you the relationship of those illnesses, undisputable, with the oxidative stress that the Iranian sulfur mustard gas veterans suffer from today. The exact same illnesses found in sulfur mustard victims. The Iranian sulfur mustard gas veterans who were hit by Saddam Hussein's sulfur mustard. Okay. Both the Persian Gulf War I veterans with the multitude of chronic sign symptoms, as the U.S. government calls it, the multitude of chronic sign symptoms and diagnosed and undiagnosed illnesses presumed to Persian Gulf War, I, Gulf War I veterans who served from 1990 all the way to 2003 invasion. And I believe on the if you go to the VA website, they say something like to a date to be announced. Okay, but I'm going by the times that Saddam Hussein had these chemicals. Now, the exact facts and direct relationship of this oxidative stress between the Persian Gulf veterans and the mustard, the, the Iranian mustard gas veterans, mustard gas survivors. Exact, exact same oxidative stress. The link's going to be about down down below. <clears throat> just, just you know, facts. All right, guys. Respectful citizens carry firearms. Criminals carry weapons. And I just had to put out this video, man, because again, it's uh, you know, I I, I just don't get it why why someone would believe that Americans here inside the the safety of the United States of America, uh. <clears throat> Are, are in more danger than what the, what danger the Persian Gulf War veterans were who served from 90 to 2003. Peace, guys.